Hey guys, this is Mike, and this is the Red Snow um, for Mac version 0.96B4. And what it is, it's a tethered jailbreak. And let me tell you a uh, little details about a tethered jailbreak. Tethered jailbreak means that every time that you uh, turn your iPad off, you or or a device is not supported by untethered you will have to turn it uh, back on or if your battery goes goes out and you have to plug it back into the computer and repeat this whole process to re jailbreak your device there is no unlock available so keep that in mind if you need an unlock because there's not one available stay tuned for an updated version of green poison or a punish tool. The devices that are untethered with this process is the iPhone 3G, the older 3GS, and the non MC iPod Touch second generation. Every other one that I did not mention is a tethered jailbreak. Tethered jailbreak includes the iPad, the iPhone fourth generation, the iPhone third gen, iPod Touch third generation, and I'm not sure if the iPhone 4 is supported, but you can try. But keep in mind, you will lose your unlock. So let's begin. Right here, I have Red Snow for Mac. I'm going to open up Red Snow. Requirements here: you're going to need your uh, IPSW, your stock one in this case. I'm going to have a link in the description for uh, Red Snow 0.96B4 and your um, a link to where you can get your download your iPad IPSWs. So now we're going to browse and we're going to go to desktop and our desktop is here and we're going to open. It's going to process successfully identified and what you're going to do is you're going to run the program it's going to do all the jailbreaking for you so basically you sit back relax and of course you're going to install Cydia but keep in mind this is a tethered jailbreak and uh, remember what I told you about tethered that means that every time your battery dies on an unsupported device that's this tethered such as the iPad and the iPhone I'm sorry the iPod touch fourth generation you will have to um, turn it back on with it plugged in and repeat this whole process to re uh, jailbreak your device so if this is for you go ahead and do this if it's not for you then you know wait for an untethered jailbreak but this it this process will support untethered jailbreak for an iPhone 3G, 3GS, and a non-MC 2G. So you would just go through this process. I'm not gonna go through the process because I'm gonna wait because I don't want to. I don't want an un, a tethered jailbreak. Um, you never know. You might run out of power, or you might. Uh, be somewhere where you need your device uh, jailbroken where you might need a, an app in city and you can't get it because you uh, accidentally turned your device off so keep these things in mind please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video peace